Here's a quick look at my kiln, and um, I'm doing this to show people a couple of things. One is how I ran my wires um, and cables for a firing watchdog, and the other is to just see how things are stowed in between firings. Um, so you can see here, this is this big outside shed. This is um, Forest Grove, Oregon. It's very damp here during the winter. Um, so this is how I work around those uh, those problems as far as the weather. Um, so up here, I built a shelf. Um, underneath that little plastic um, box is a wireless router and a network switch that I use um, during firing. I simply run the wires down from this box and then put my laptop on this steel table. Um, if it's raining when I'm firing, I just put the laptop in a cardboard box to keep the, keep the raindrops off of it. Um, so the way the cable runs from the box is up through this conduit back around over here. That stuff there is for a damper. Um, let me go around on this side. Over here, that little switch is uh, the brake is the patch panel for the distributed system. So you can see, I just mounted it up really high so it stays out of the rain. And then when I fire, I just take uh, six foot cables and run it from that to the back of the kiln. Um, that plastic bag there um, is just connect, just protecting the RJ45 connectors for the aux probes. I pull the thermocouples out and store them inside. Um, once the aux probes are uh, fired, it's best to leave them in place. So I just wrap them in plastic and um, keep the plug-ins safe from rain by putting a plastic bag over it. And that's that's it. That's all there is to it.